So if you're looking at the internet today and you look at YouTube and social media, you're gonna see all these gurus who've already told you how to master AI and chat GPT for business. I'm not gonna do that for you today because it's so new, uh, but I am gonna show you what we're doing at Butler Branding and how we've been incorporating AI into our business model and how we're incorporating it into our actual live client accounts. So when AI comes out, just like anything, marketers try to ruin everything. As soon as ChatGPT hit the market, everybody's selling all their courses and they're giving you all the, the tools and pro tips. Everybody's just figuring this thing out. Nobody knows how to master it. It has not been mastered yet. Uh, and so one of the things that, that we've learned at Butler is like anytime new technology comes out, we have to, to dabble with it at least and, and get to know, know how to use it and, uh, and how it might apply uh, to our workflow. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we're using ChatGPT as a creative agency, how I'm using it for my business, and how I'm uh, integrating it with our client accounts. So um, prime, I'll give you kind of a little bit of back history here. So I had a super talented content writer on staff. And so we, we'd had a, uh, we've always had a content writer and usually it was me. And then when I got too busy, I hired other people who are really good at writing copy and a huge part of branding is writing copy. So our last content writer, very talented guy. I'll just call him out. His name was Danny Cameron and he worked with us for a couple of years. I met him on set, uh, at a project that we we're doing for, um, uh, for a video campaign and then ended up hiring him as our content writer and strategist. And so he worked with us for a couple of years. Long story short is he, ended up resigning from Butler and, and putting in his, his notice and uh, went on to his next move in his career, which was an unfortunate turn of events. But as he was leaving Butler, um, chat GPT and AI, artificial intelligence for writing, was starting to pick up steam. Everybody's thinking about it. So I said, okay, can we use chat GPT or AI in any way to be able to potentially replace an entire salary? And it was a scary thought to think about at first, but when you think about what we do at Butler Branding, we have frameworks for developing strategies, including content writing strategies. And, and what I'm doing as a creative director to give my team direction is giving them prompts. And, and the better that I can get at giving my team a prompt, the better result they're going to give me. So let's see how good this AI thing does. And so we messed around with a couple of different AI models for content writing. And so I've used Jasper AI, which I still highly recommend. If you go to Jasper and, and look at their, it's, it's very affordable. They have team plans. It's built for agencies and businesses who are doing constant content writing. And so it was just a no brainer for us to, to sign up with them and to put uh, at least four of our, our team members on the account. And so everybody just started kind of having a field day with it. They're writing emails, they're writing social media posts, writing blog posts. And it's kind of cool because one of the things that all of our content writers have hated was getting into the minutia of all of the, the detailed pieces that they'd have to write. So a, a really good content writer likes to write big ideas. They like to write with creativity. What they hate writing is a million social media posts for the sake of, you know, keeping engagement or search engine optimization, writing blog posts. And so what AI did was it allowed us to be able to put out a ton more content uh, and it was grammatically perfect and, and you could uh, choose the type of voice and tone. And, and the way Jasper was set up is that it, it had specific frameworks for writing specific types of content. So for example, if you're writing a, an Instagram post, it would have suggested hashtags. If you're uh, writing a sales landing page, it would follow a particular framework for landing page uh, content. Um, okay, so that was the first tool that we used. And, and as I was using it, I noticed that all Jasper was doing was using a framework for creating content and integrating with the tool, with, which was a, a machine learning, to follow this framework. And I, I just thought to myself, can I train chat GPT or AI to follow Butler Branding's frameworks? Right. And so this is assuming that you as a creative agency have a framework to follow. And so I, we were using Jasper, my team was using it, but there, it just had its limitations in the types of content that I wanted to create, um, especially following our framework. And so what I did was I signed up for, uh, for the premium version of chat GPT. And this was uh, during the rollout of GPT four. And so you can use GPT four, which is just like 
the last version, of, which was three, um, except for instead of, I think, I forget the exact count, but instead of like 3,000 characters, it could do something like 25,000. And, um, and and it's a lot faster, it's a lot smarter, it's, it's pulling from a, a larger corpus of information. And, um, and so we started training ChatGPT to follow Butler Branding's frameworks for not only content writing, but also developing strategies. And what I noticed was that as we were using this, I didn't have to replace my content writer because I just did with a machine. That's really scary for some people that a machine has replaced the salary, but what it's doing is it's allowing us to think a little bit more creatively about what it is we do, our creative process, and how we're gonna do the work that we do best. And, and it's saving me tens of thousands of dollars. Um, and to be honest, it's a lot of times better than a human being. There's nothing wrong with creativity. Obviously, I want a, cr a creative human, but if I could use a machine to get me 85% there or 90% there, it allows us to think a little bit more creatively and to, to do our work in a different way. And so that's how we're using AI as a company, not only to write our content, that's how it started, was, was writing content because I needed it. I had a need for content writing, uh, but also to train it to create our strategies for our clients. Beyond that, I've been interacting with it to help us create strategies and standard operating procedures as a business. One of the things that we've learned in, um, in Butler as we've grown from, from one stage to the next, you know, going from me and David in the corner of my mom's office with a laptop, growing to five employees and growing to 10 employees and having 17 employees. Uh, one, one of the things that I've found out was that at each phase of the company, you have to have policies, procedures, and standard operating procedures, or what we call SOPs, um, to, to account for how you're gonna run your business. And SOPs are like the bread and butter, it's the gold of your company. And so um, we've been using AI to help us solidify and write down our own SOPs for running our business. And it's following our process, but it's it's doing it in a way that's uh, grammatically correct. Um, and, and it's pretty, pretty perfect. It gets you about 85% there. It does not replace the human element. The human element is giving the machine, the exact prompt for what you're needing. And so I think one of the things that we're gonna have to think about as, um, as entrepreneurs, as creatives, is to get really good at giving good prompts, which isn't really different than what you were supposed to already be doing as a creative director or as a manager is giving really good prompts, but instead of giving prompts to humans, you're giving prompts to these uh, machines and it gets you about 85% there and then you use your creativity to refine it and to make it more perfect. And so it's made us a lot more efficient. Um, it's, it's made us uh, put out a lot more work quicker and uh, so far we're loving it.